What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Beta Memoirs, where today tech had some massive rips. Yes, uh, things are panning out uh, like expecting with growth. Uh, a lot of people are talking about a crash coming. Um, in my opinion, there is not a crash coming. Uh, I think there's a lot of uh, misleading going on in the market to myself. This is where a big uh, thing I've always uh kind of considered is uh, uh, thinking for yourself, even my analysis, right? Uh, I would hope that the people that do watch my my videos um, do their own analysis. Yes, look over what I am giving you, other people's opinions, but ultimately formulate your own. And ultimately what I'm seeing is everything essentially uh, playing out, right? The inflation talks, all that stuff is pretty much dead. Yes, it will continue to haunt us. Um, even towards the end of the summer, I think we'll get some inflation. I think the, our, um, the rates will come up a little bit at that point. Uh, but even being said, I mean, they're going to die back down. Uh, it's all transitory. Uh, I do believe uh, the way it's being played out is, is handled very well. Um, but being said, um, for... Uh, the rest of the week, essentially what we got, we got um, the bank stress test tomorrow, and that's going to be after the bell. Uh, now, the banks, a lot of value stocks have been holding uh, pretty much the past couple of days. We had that massive uh, sell-off last week after we got the information from Powell, and then they've just kind of held since then, and I think they're waiting for this uh, bank stress test. Uh, again, pending on what happens with that, uh, we can see some strength go back into banks and value or uh, be removed and, and break uh, the current base that it is uh, developing at the moment. Uh, I don't think it's going to affect tech in any way. Uh, tech has got essentially the all clear and tech has big earnings coming up, up at the end of July and tech has also been held down for two months. So I expect tech to do some major ripping still. Uh, it's just trying to get the rest of the market. Uh, we do want uh, value stocks to hold strength. Uh, we don't want uh, tech to push up and get massive strength and, and then um, uh, create, formulate a bubble because everybody's trying to jump in on tech while uh, value struggles. We do want to see the strength uh, spread out into value as well. Uh, but being said, um, a SPY looked good today. Some value that did push up today. Um, there was a little bit of a pop in some banks, uh, but ultimately uh, tech ruined the, <laughs> run the day again today, right? Uh, so SPY for tomorrow, I'm actually looking for a gap up tomorrow uh, and SPY and um, essentially the queues to continue on. I think the queues are extremely strong right now. Uh, even on the daily, I was looking at the daily uh, here momentarily and we have uh, we're retesting the linear, linear regression line. Uh, so to break over it and now retesting it, uh, it is ready to rock, right? We did have we have a massive push this morning, then we kind of stalled a little bit today uh, on the retest, and I think tomorrow we're going to really rip. Uh, now going into uh, my watch list for tomorrow, I only got three. I got uh, Tesla. Uh, Tesla had a ma massive rip today. Uh, I think it's going to continue uh, to make some monster moves going into earnings. Um, so I'll be playing this along the next uh, couple of weeks going into earnings. Uh, Etsy finally broke out of that range. I've been waiting for this. I've been in and out of this, uh, buying the bottom of the range, selling at the top, and it finally actually broke out. So I'm looking to get into this tomorrow. Uh, and SSYS is a 3D printing is, is starting to get some traction. Um, and once uh, 3D printing kind of gets that traction, it really starts to rip. Uh, and also a side note here is I will not be making a video, a nightly video, video tomorrow, if you have watched this far. Uh, I am going on vacation with family, so uh, being said, um, it will have a weekend video, but aside for tomorrow, uh, well, there will not be a daily update video. Uh, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Uh, Tesla in itself uh, finally broke out of this range, finally breaking out of the wedge. Um, I think, you know, we could, I was looking for that retest of that 650 today. It really kind of just hit that today, and then it just... Uh, yeah, retested it, and then that was about as much of a pullback as we had, and now we're we're pushing up after hours. I would not be surprised if, if this gaps uh, 620 uh, and we see 700 by tomorrow, if not by the end of the week, if not even more. I mean, Tesla's really been held down, and as you can see, the consolidation, even on the, on the day of the four hour even, I mean, we've been consolidating for a long time. We've been building this out for a long time. We finally get a breakout of this. 
I think we're really uh, going to start ripping from this point. And so I did grab a call for this for overnight. Um, weekly, I am also looking at uh, possibly adding shares. I do have a small set, uh, uh, stance of shares I've held uh, since back here somewhere around along this grind. So I'm uh, going to continue to hold that uh, on this way up. And possibly for the end of the year, I think Tesla's going to have a massive run. Uh, those those shares are separate from a different account, so I'm not like touching those shares. Those shares are kind of just uh, stashed away uh, for a rainy day kind of thing. Uh, so being said, I think um, I might add some shares on my other account and uh, add more options to this on the way up because uh, I think this will be, again, another big mover uh, going forward. Etsy is the other one I have. Uh, now, again, I've really liked XC. I really liked the consolidation. and finally broke out today or it finally broke out yesterday, I should say. And now it's holding. Uh, as long as it can hold this, I, I really like this and where it could uh, possibly go on the daily. I mean, it's got a lot of headroom. Uh, yeah, 251 uh, was top side of that. But on the daily, we're starting to hit some support. We actually retested the 20 from the top side. And so being said, I think we're, we're ready to rock at that point. Uh, we still got a lot of, uh, a lot of resistance, some resistance on the way up, but I think it's more just a speed bump uh, till we get back up uh, to that 201 mark. And then from that point, I think we might uh, see a little bit more resistance uh, trying to make it back to all time highs. But I really do like Etsy. One, I probably uh, build out uh, shares position in uh, starting tomorrow and kind of riding this into earnings as well as I do like Etsy a lot. SSYS is the other one I have, which is the 3D printing. And this is one of the big holdings that uh, Kathy Woods has as well on 3D printing. Um, and again, on the daily, I really like this. I actually, uh, I'm upset I missed this today. I wasn't even paying attention to yesterday. Uh, but the fact that on the daily, it is, is looking really good. And again, once it starts catching steam, uh, this thing can really start rolling. And as you can see, it's been holding very well. It dipped a little bit today. We had the retest today, which I completely missed. Uh, but tomorrow, something I definitely want to watch and, and see how this does. If there's any kind of sell off. I think there might be a pullback or sell off on Friday uh, from that point. Just depending on the bank stress test, just depending on the bank stress test, I think um, we'll really see what, the, what, what this is possible uh, and capable of doing. Uh, so I want to see what happens uh, there. But ultimately, uh, I do like this one going into tomorrow. And as always, I do like um, uh, not so much Apple. Uh, Roku had a lot of strength today. I think um, Amazon and Shop, I think Amazon could still go. I think Amazon still has uh, possibly another leg or so to go. Um, it has pushed a lot. So we might get a little bit more consolidation before the next leg up. Um, shop same uh, i think it's it's still looking strong but start seeing some of your other uh, tier two uh, like your, your tesla has really been held down really hasn't made a move so i expect that to make massive moves tomorrow even square making some uh, big moves tomorrow starting to move back up uh, one thing i don't like about square is it's been uh, kind of running with crypto since crypto has been kind of dying off uh, it looks like it's finally starting to break away from that whole crypto um, correlation because uh, again, they've done much more than crypto for a long time. Um, but uh, I guess since they've been headlining news for their loss with crypto, it's kind of been uh, stagnating around the stock uh, for a minute. But it looks like it's finally starting to break away again. But that's what I got for you guys. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And again, tomorrow I will not have a nightly video. Uh, I will also post that on my Twitter feed at Beta Memoirs uh, if you want to follow me there. Uh, and until next time, guys, I will see you later.